Okay, so you can get that one there. Okay, the first the first agenda sir is a two point one mode of procurement for the following projects. Supply delivery of high voltage vacuum relay for torn selection switch for of Baki of Ames. And based on the letter, they requested for SVP. So we have the representative from EMS. Okay, so uh, what is the recommendation? Thank you, Madam Chair. We are recommending that the two uh, projects be procured through small value procurement. Uh, the first one is the uh, vacuum, uh, high voltage vacuum relay used as uh, spare parts for the control of uh, puppy and then the other one is uh, uh, filters for the generator in the Magnet City. Ah yes, sir. Uh, from uh, eight six hundred other supplies, spare parts for electromechanical and FLS. RPC 178 SESTA 206 The approved budget contract for this project is 485,000 and we have only one bidder submitted the Pegasus Air Service Incorporated The submitted price is 387,000 520 and this bidding is through negotiation and the negotiated price is 387,520 uh, the TWG uh, post qualification uh, the file found out that the uh, eligibility documents are all uh, responsive including the technical documents submitted by Pegasus and they also submitted the uh, post qualification requirements the annual uh, income tax return for fiscal year 2018 and also the uh, quarterly uh, BAT and the monthly BAT the membership is also a, plati uh, is a platinum membership and valid until uh, May 10 2019. By the way, sir, uh, the opening was uh, March 19, 2000, 2019. So, valid, sir. The recommendation of the Bhakti WG is to uh, uh, award the contract to Pegasus Air Service Incorporated uh, in the amount of 387500 20 pesos, sir. Okay. Uh, before, before we uh, go to this, do we have a call and do we have a representative from the end user? I'll move to that. It's a recommendation of 
uh, digital engine to our to Pegasus Air Services Incorporated the annual maintenance check of the Cessna in the amount of 357,520 years. Second Guest House 
uh, we invited three prospective leaders, IF Clemente, FAAA, Construction, and Maragas Enterprises. And again, only Maragas Enterprises submitted a financial proposal for the project. Uh, during the opening of financial proposal, the bid offer of Maragas Enterprises is 2,200,782.10 and this was reduced during the bid evaluation to 2,185,662.10 it was considered as a complete bid it is below the ABC and it is the single calculated bid for the project the amount offer of, offered by Marquez Enterprises is a difference of 28,969.27 from the ABC and upon checking the submitted financial documents uh, it is uh, Complete like the bid law quantities, bid proposal, and detailed estimates. Marquez Enterprises also submitted the required legal and technical eligibility documents, such as the PUGEPS, DPI, the Mayor's Permit, and the BIR, and the pickup license of Marquez Enterprises. Marquez also submitted the annual income tax return and auditor financial statement for 2017, and the value added tax for January to April 2019. And for complying with the, the eligibility and financial documents for the project, the BACTI WG is also recommending the award of the project to Maracas Enterprises for the improvement of the existing Tagaytay Raider Complex guest house in the amount of 2,185,662.10 pesos. For approval, sir. Um, to adopt the uh, recommendation of the TWD, Mr. Chair, to award to Maragas Enterprises the improvement of existing Tarayda Arena Complex, guest house and Tarayda Arena Complex, in the amount of 2,185,662 pesos and 10 centavos. So you this, Mr. Chair. Uh, Here next in the pre procurement conference for development of airport extension of runway at Pandag Airport by AEMS. for this project is 19,450,000 19, 
The prospective bidder should possess the following technical personnel, equipment, and a pickup license of small B license category C and D for road, highway pavement, railways, airport, horizontal structures, and bridges. Completion of the works is required 135 calendar days, inclusive of 16 rainy and workable days. And the bidding documents will cost 25,000 pesos. Surrender bid data sheet. 5.4 B. The contractor should have a similar contract of completing of roads and other horizontal <coughs> structures. And under 6.3, certificate of site inspection duly signed by Mr. Muhammad Naga, S. Raskal, officer in charge of Tandag Airport, for his duly authorized representative. Project, the minimum work experience requirements for key personnel are the following. For key personnel, project civil engineer, geodetic engineer, material engineer, construction foreman, healthy and safe and health officer, general experience, five years in general engineering, and relevant experience, three years in concreting of roads and other horizontal structures. For the minimum major equipment requirements, uh, we have backhoe, capacity 1.09 cubic meter, uh, 2 units, payloader 1.5 cubic meter, 1 unit, dump truck uh, 10 cubic meter, 3 units, motor or, the, or road grader 135 horsepower, 1 unit, vibratory tandem road or road roller, road roller 10.10 metric ton or for what you need, water truck, 1,000 gallons, transit mixer, 5 cubic meter, uh, concrete batching plant, 8 cubic meter per hour, concrete vibrator, concrete screeder, 5.5 horsepower, concrete diamond saw blade, 40 inches diameter, 7.5 inch. Shown is the bill of quantities for this project. For SPF item number, for SPF 1 mobilization and demobilization, item 102 excavation. For excavation, we have 5,756.19 cubic meter. Item 104 for embankment, 6,862.35 cubic meter. For aggregate surface course, 2,691.51 meter. For BCCP, 4,500 square meter. And temporary facilities. Sir, the end user would like to recommend this project for posting. For excavation, sir, 
for this contract is 80 million 438,039 pesos and 99 pounds. Prospective should possess the following technical personnel, equipment, and a pickup license of small B, license category C and D for road, highway pavement, railways, airport, horizontal structures, and bridges. Also, the duration of the project. <coughs> For pickup license, small B, license category C and D. And the duration of the project is 135 calendar days, inclusive of 25 rainy and workable. Reading documents will cost 25,000 pesos. Sir, under big data sheet, uh, 5.4b, similar contracts shall refer to contracts which have the same major categories of work for concreting of roads and other horizontal structure. And under 6.3, Certificate of Site Inspection, inspection due designed by Mr. Wilfredo G. Cabita, 
airport manager to office of the airport or his duly authorized representative is required to be submitted. For the minimum work experience requirements, for key personnel, personnel, uh, required five years in general engineering and three years in contracting of roads and other structure, horizontal structure for relevant experience. Shown is the minimum major equipment requirements. Base course 1760 cubic meter and PCCP for 4620 square meter. Sir, the end user would like to recommend this project for policy. I don't know. 
for the ITD, the CAP now invites bids for the supply delivery installation, integration, training, and testing of purchase installation of waste tagging system for Iloilo Airport. Delivery of the goods is required within 180 calendar days, and the bidder should have completed within five years from the date of submission and receipt of bids a contract similar to the project. set of bidding documents is in the amount of 5,000 pesos. Hmm. For the bid data sheet, oh, the name of the contract is Purchase Installation of Voice Lagging System for Iloilo Airport. And the funding source is CAAP Corporate Budget 29, CY 2019 in the amount of Two 
the bidder must have completed within five years as is specified in the invitation to bid and for a purpose similar for this purpose, similar contracts shall refer to supply, delivery, and installation integration of voice logging system. Uh, for the ITP clause 12.1b, double I. The following documents shall, shall be submitted together with the technical proposal, the system interconnection design diagram, equipment room layout plan for the supply equipment, certificate of exclusive or authorized distributorship issued by the OEM of supply equipment, ISO certificates or its internationally recognized equivalent of manufacturer and product, latest official OEM. All system design drawing shall be signed and sealed by a professional PC and a copy of the PRC certificate or clear photocopy of PEC license, copy of PTR and certificate of good standing from accredited professional organization shall be submitted by the signing PEC. Um, this project requires also the submission of or, uh, uh, an attachment of the ITB 13.14 to, to be accomplished by the bidder. And this uh, document shall be signed by the bidder's authorized representative. The ABC is 2,767,000. Other requirements would be to save that with the previous na same project like BLS and the communication segment. For the special conditions of contract for Funding source is the uh, corporate budget 20 CY 2019 in the amount of 2,767,000. Um, and for the purpose of this clause, the procuring entities representative of the project site for the site survey is uh, uh, the ENS facility in charge authorized at Iloilo Airport. Um, 
ito po yung detailed na specification ng PLS natin. Um, the 16 channel redundant system shall shall be uh, complete with the following um, two digital IP channel, digital channels or IP based and 14 analog <coughs> channels. Uh, also, are the accessories included 19 inch cabinet rack with at which is a three feet height with flexi glass cover and lock, a separate playback unit, recording and playback. Recording playback and software licenses, HDD archiving and storage media, UPS of at least 30 minutes backup time, including search protectors and grounding, operational, operation and maintenance manual, installation and integration to power communications equipment, other accessories, and on site testing and personal training. Um, this project is shall be. Shall be accomplished within 180 calendar days. It shall be delivered within 180 calendar days. For the technical specifications, same lang din po ito sa mga previous, sir. Contractor shall include the uh, in their technical proposal preliminary design drawings, installation plans to include, but that sh it shall not be limited to in order of the following: the location plan, equipment layout design plan, power electrical drawing and cable system design plan, including electrical system single line diagram, cable layout plan, and the original and edited latest version of OEM equipment technical characteristics, specification manuals, and brochures of proposed products. Uh, dito po sa uh, section 8.5, the contractor shall secure a certificate of site inspection from the ANS facility in charge of Iloilo Airport as proof of the conduct of survey inspection of the site. Ito, 8.6 na pag na po kanina. So, ito mga susunod na po na sections. Ito na po yung detailed na requirement natin for this equipment. Thank you. Uh, okay, 
existing po is nasa 40 analog channel, uh, first server. Uh, ngayon po, meron silang dalawang server, so almost 40, 80 po na analog channel. Now, the frequencies uh, voice logging system was installed last 2006 pa po. And upon checking daw po, uh, robust naman yung install, so working pa po siya. Although analog na lang siya, pero okay pa naman daw. Uh, 
one is uh, this project, sir. the next project manager while checking the document for them. This manager is two phase readings for construction of access road from FSB to runway at Pavilion Airport. Thank you. 
Dito naman sa, sa atin, sa main office. Kaya hindi kailangan sa installation. Pero yung 1.2? May installation. Palagay ko sa 1.2 required kasi may installation. So may required yun ha, yung set inspection, photocopy ng ID, yung taong nag-inspect, o nag-survey, and then the visitor's logbook that contains the logbook in of the uh, person who surveyed the sites required the okay. so those were for the eligibility requirements uh, uh, questions so you know what's item one there's item two requirement Uh, 
Pero kung mag-offer kayo ng sa so 1.2, required na mag-submit kayo ng site inspection. Pero kung 1.1 lang, wag mag-offer. Okay, so kami hindi siya mag-offer. Saan po ba kayo dito? Sila eh. Sa sila eh? Ay, hindi kayo mag-offer. Hindi na required ng site inspection. Okay. 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 Either for item 1.1 or item 1.2 or both? Uh, 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 it's uh, 1.2. <coughs> so, sa uh, eligibility requirements included in the bill of our March page, eligibility documents, class A documents, and then class B documents. Technical documents, the following items are required. The latest official OEM, equipment technical characteristics, specifications, manual, sales, materials, brochures, etc. And then reference drawings, band signed by the engineer, the builder's authorized representative, certificate of site inspection, issued by the ANS facility. Uh, Okay, I'm going to discuss the Okay, so the first thing is the So, the first thing is the So, the first thing is the So, the So, the the So, Yes, ma'am, that is correct. Yeah. Uh, I suggest you give up what is the project of Okay. Uh, <clears throat> these uh, bulbs, uh, supply delivery of bulbs and lamps for various airfield lighting, uh, <coughs> para, sa, para sa Bacolo dito, they will be using this as their spares. But uh, normally, when we conduct the procurement, especially here in uh, Manila, the delivery uh, site is in central office at the uh, AANS uh, Technical Center. Yes. Uh, since ang delivery niyan dito, ang delito lang ang kumbaga kami na bahala kung padala sa Bacolod. Okay. So, kumpleto tayo sa item 1.2. Wala na pressure. Any more any more any more questions? Other bidders regarding item 1.1, any question? No more question. Okay, so kung tapos na yung 1.1, hindi hindi mabibig ng 1.1, hindi na siya. Hindi na siya. Hindi na siya. Bidders po kayo lahat ng 1.2? Okay, 1.1. May 1.1. Okay. Kasi kung tapos na 1.1, pwede na rin na umalis. Mag-discuss na tayo ng 1.2. May question na. Wait, one more. Please. I am the one that has to 
publish yung Alex 14 kasi manual po yun eh. Ma makapal na manual. Nandoon na po siya. Nandoon na po siya sa kaas. Nandoon na po siya sa kaas. Ah, okay. So, hindi siya, ano, okay lang na wala siya doon sa video. Wala naman, ma'am. Ang ano lang kasi, yung yun yung references na ginagamit namin. Hindi naman namin ni-require na i-attach yun doon. Normally mo kasi di ba may batch number yan. Doon sa, sa ano, makikita mo kung, kung anong batch number. So pwede kayong mag-request from the manufacturer ng data sheet. Kaya <clears throat> nire-require namin may data sheet. Para yun yung basis namin kung kailan siya ng mga manufacturer. Kasi minsan, uh, sabihin natin bago yung bulb, hindi pa gamit, pero all stock na. Yun yung isang nagiging cost minsan na hindi siya umaabot sa expected lifespan niya. Kunyari, ang requirement natin is one year. Minsan, wala pang one year, nababasta din na. Uh, normally, ma'am, yung mga product na yan na may manufacture, meron silang certificate of compliance kasi hindi sila pwedeng basta-basta mag-offer without doon. So, ma'am, uh, bibigyan kita ng example ng manufacture. Yung Osram, yung uh, Philips, lahat naman sila na susupply sa airport ay kayo compliant yan. Kasi hindi sila yung ordinary na bulb lang na mabibili natin. So, okay na po, sir. As long as may present nyo, yun nga, yung hinihingi namin ng mga documents para to, to, to uh, satisfy yung aming requirements. So, hindi na kailangan dito? Makikita na... Ah, ano na yun? Yes, ma'am. Nasa document nung yun. Hindi na kailangan dito? Yung product data sheet. Iprove lang nila lang. Yung data sheet. Yun nga. <coughs> para ma malaman natin yung manufacturing, kailangan natin yung data sheet. Normally, may data sheet talaga siya. kita yun doon sa Annex 14. So, yung, yung Annex 14 na yun, doon tinitin, kinukuha yung specification na itong product na to ay nagkukumply doon sa requirements na yun. So, si manufacturer, sinasabi nila na itong product namin ay IKEA compliant. Ang, ang iba kasing mga country at sa yun, 
sinisertipan na yung form. Uh, with regards sa mga past tense, uh, mga iba kasi na pa-past tense, eh, may fault ng yung bibili kasi isan, it depends sa kan yung sa manufacturer. Kasi yung nagpamanufacture ng nagmamanufacture ng bal, syempre yung bibili din naman nila ang nagsigawa ng manufacturer. Kaya hindi lahat ng fault doon sa supplier. Oh, may, mayroon mga factor na defective na talaga hindi natin may iwasan yun. And then, yun nga, pagka makikita na minsan sa handling, mayroon mga bumbidya na bawal hawakan. Kaya during inspection, doon kami nag i Ang nandun kasi specification natin ay halogen. Pwede yung LED pero hindi pa tayo masyadong gumagamit ang LED. Unang-unang mahal tapos hindi pa proven din kasi meron kaming naririnig na mga parang feedback from pilots na parang uh, iba sa ano nila eh, sa vision nila. So halogen? Halogen. As as Yun ang nasa requirement natin.
Actually, ang project scope po is supply, delivery, installation, integration, and training of pumps equipment. with regards dun sa uh, yung sinuplay po namin na system, uh, systems design na uh, uh, general requirement po ng EMS yun. Now, with regards naman po dun sa EMS, uh, nasasayin na po yun kung paano or ano yung susupply yung system. As long as yung functional, 
functionality ng requirement sa nito is masunod. Now, yung doon naman po sa sinasabi niyo uh, switch over between uh, antenna, uh, combiner at saka multi-coupler. Uh, nasa sa inyo na po kung paano nyo po. Basta, basta ang requirement namin yung functionality niya. May switch yung from main to a standby. And then same way din dun sa combine na model. Okay, sir. Ang, ang dilemma kasi dito is if say for example we we, uh, we apply yung isang switch over, say for example sa combine ang dilemma kasi is kung paano yung compliance statement dun sa ibang kainan ko sa technical specifications kasi di ba we are required to cross reference that to, to data sheets or or drawings so kapag kapag pa pinili natin yung isa kinorgo na yung ibang switch over na nakatipay dun sa dun sa requirements nyo technical in, in, in reality acceptable na ba yun doon sa end user and bakit so during evaluation or
seven projects for all the projects. So uh, with reference to Array Lab 184 and the ITB, dapat po magsasabit ko ng uh, field jobs registration certificate. However, nagkaroon po ng deferment from GPTV and the issue that GPTV is here for 27 plus 2017, I think that 2017, na pinuporbo nila yung submission muna ng field jobs registration dahil yung mga ibang companies is not yet uh, platinum member sa field jobs. So, with regard to the eligibility documents, you have three options. So, first option is the submission of the updated field jobs registration. Yung updated po na sinasabi natin is all the requirements under the Annex A of the Field Jobs Registration should be uh, current and valid. For example, po yung DTI ninyo, yung mayor's permit, tax clearance, the pickup license, and all the audited financial statements are all current and valid for the, before yung mag-opening time ng day. So, dapat walang pasutol. Or the second option is the combination of the Field Jobs Registration and the updated uh, Class A documents uh, dual sa Class A, uh, Annex A of the Pilgrims Registration. For example, po dun sa Annex A of the Pilgrims Registration, paso po yung uh, mayor's permit niyo. you have to submit the Pilgrims Registration, Annex A, and the updated mayor's permit. So, combination po yan, yun po yung second option. Niyo. And the third option is the submission of the Class A documents on the so, yung Class A documents po natin is the PTI, the Mayor's Permit, Tax Clearance, Speak Up License, uh, ongoing projects, SLCC, NFCC, and the Auditor Financial Statement. And provided that the submission of PILGEPS registration should be submitted during the post-qualification stage. So, dapat po meron po kayong PILGEPS during the post-qualification or else it will be drawn from disqualification for your company. So, maliwan po yung three options po ninyo uh, regarding sa field jobs restriction. So, doon po, field jobs registration and the uh, annexes, tsaka yung po mga classic uh, documents, and also the submission of the body pickup license, statement of all ongoing projects, SLCC, and NLCC consultation. Yan po yung eligibility documents po natin. So with regard to the class B documents, if you are uh, uh, having a joint venture with another company, you have to submit the JV agreement with the other company, and of course the special pickup license, the valid pickups, valid special pickup license. So any questions po regarding uh, eligibility documents? So we will go to the technical documents. Uh, the first one is the bid security. So the bid security in the form of uh, any of the four forms here, A, B, C, and D. Kahit isa lang po dyan. And then the submission of the organizational chart and the list of key personnel or list of construction personnel. <coughs> Next is the submission of the list of construction equipment and the omnibus sort statement. And under the technical requirements, we have two special instruction for the technical requirements. <coughs> that is the submission of the certificate of site inspection. So kung saan po kayo nagbibig na area, magkakaroon po kayo ng site inspection sa airport na yon, and the airport manager or the officer in charge will issue a certificate of site inspection. And in addition to the certificate of site inspection, you are required to submit the visitor's logbook of that particular airport and the photocopy of the company ID of the person who conducted the site inspection. So that's the first uh, special instruction under uh, technical requirements. The second one is the uh, issuance of uh, the bid bulletin, the submission of bid bulletin. If there are any issuance of bid bulletin of the project na bid bid po ninyo. Any questions po? So the eligibility and technical requirements will be submitted in the first envelope and we will now go to the financial requirements which will be submitted in the second envelope. So we have the following form, uh, we, we have the following uh, requirements, the financial reform, the bill of quantities, the proposal, 
the detailed estimate form, the summary sheets for materials, labor, and equipment. And here po, meron din po tayong special uh, uh, instruction for the financial requirements. The submission po ng cash flow by quarter and payment schedule should be accompanied by the submission of the per CPM network diagram and the construction schedule bar chart and script. So, dapat po i-submit po ninyo ito, dalawang to, in-attachment po dun sa cash flow and for cash flow uh, by quarter and payment schedule. So, any questions po regarding financial? And we have also another uh, set of requirements. Uh, the financial beat and the, the financial requirements, the financial documents and the technical documents shall be uh, initial by the leader or is his auto authorized representative. And each page shall be uh, consecutively page. For example, yung technical documents po ninyo consists of 100 pages uh, from page 1, we will have na, page 1 of 100 until 100 to 100. And then yung financial requirements po ninyo, yung financial documents consists of 20 pages Magsisimula po dito kayo doon, 1 of 20 ang gate 20 of 20. Ganun po yung paging natin. And then of course, meron po tayong tagging. Uh, every one po, dapat may tag. Ayan yung mga binasa natin na requirements, dapat po magkakaroon ng tag ang mga yan. And then all envelopes shall be sealed and auto, uh, signed by the authorized signatory. And ito po yung envelope system po natin. We are requiring 10 envelope system. One may, uh, main envelope, three copies of the beat, original, copy one and copy two. And doon po sa original beat, nandun doon po yung original technical and original financial. And then sa copy number one po, nandun po yung copy number one for technical and financial. And ganun din po sa copy number two. So, Bids not complying with the above instructions, with the requirements shall be automatically disqualified. So, any questions for regarding eligibility, technical and financial requirements of the project? Yes. Tungkol po doon sa cash flow, sir. Pwede yung, pwede sasali po kasi kami sa, ano, yung Shergo Airport po na 660 calendar days. Ang um, tanong ko lang, ang um, tanong ko lang po sir is yung uh, duration po ba or per year po yung uh, quarterly na ano mismo sa cash flow ba? Uh, uh, or duration po tapos quarterly? Kahit po hanggang sa duration po, basta ako uh, ang ang ko ninyo is kung by quarter, by quarter po kayo, pero kung until duration, kahit ilang pong Kunwari, pag lang po yun 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 doon, pag sisingil lang po yun, di ba? Yes po. So kung kailang, uh, hanggang ilang po kayo magpag-progress ng video, yung cash flow. Sige, okay. Any more questions po? Uh, sir, we will now go to the technical requirements of the projects. So, Shadow Project, mga bidders po, this is the IB for the project. The ABC is 211,373,296 pesos and 57 centavos. And we require the minimum uh, technical personnel and equipment for the project. We need to push up. And we are requiring two pickup license for the project. Uh, one for medium A license category B for horizontal projects, and one for medium A license category B for building and industrial plant. So the completion of work is 660 calendar days, and the bidding documents is. 
50,000 pesos. Uh, we are requiring two pickup license po kasi we are requiring the submission of two SLCCs. Kasi component po yung project natin. Uh, may vertical projects po tayo and may horizontal. So for ABC for horizontal works, dapat po yung uh, ang ABC natin doon sa horizontal is 112 million and the ABC for vertical works is 98 million or a total of 211 million. So we are requiring two SLCCs, 50% uh, po ng ABC na horizontal, 112 million, so mga 55 million mga ganun, 55 to 60 million po yung dapat completed project ninyo for horizontal works. And vertical works, 98 million, about 50 million po ang dapat na natapos po ninyo for building and industrial plan. Nagkakaroon po tayo ng dalawang, dalawang uh, SLCC and dalawang license kasi makikita po ninyo ang scope of work po natin is consists of uh, different projects. The construction of PTB, construction of admin building, construction of powerhouse, construction of fire station building, storage building, K9 building, material recovery, facility building, guardhouse, security post, construction of water tank, PR area, and ito po yung sa horizontal natin, construction of BPA or vehicular parking area, completing of ground service area, and yung expansion of apron, and drainage system, and ito po, uh, perimeter fence under po ng uh, vertical. So, so component po siya ng component po itong project natin, so we are requiring two different uh, pickup license and two different SLCCs. Questions po? Uh, sir, regarding sa ibang sir, kasi yung nasa ano, sa words is 12 na dumdrop, but yung numerical is only 2. Ano po yung masusunod sa ibang? Ah, ito lang. Ah, uh, it should be 12. Yeah. 12 units. And uh, we will just clarify the verifying and then kung mayroon mang discrepancy, we will just uh, issue a big bulletin. Pero for the time being, it's still. Sorry, excuse me, sir. Um, sir, yung materials engineer po natin, one or two? Uh, concreting po siya. So, one po siya, no? materials engineer one. O yung quantity and signal yung kinatang? No, yung ano, sir. Uh, yung certification po na ano, materials engineer po. Kaya, yeah. so, kung is it, it's materials engineer one natin. Questions po po? Sir. Sir po, M2 yung datamitin natin. M2, uh, pwede rin siya sa competing. Uh, pwede rin. Uh, sir, tsaka sa equipment, yung back no roller, magkaiba sa dun sa ilalim sir, meron sa ano, Two units. Okay, ba kasi yung, yung capacity? So, ito is uh, bako for the uh, brake, para breakers siya. And itong bako na to is 0.5 cubic meter yung parang pa na yung bucket niya. And then itong lang dito, 1.09. Ang uh, pataas lang yung jakana. Magkakaiba lang yung bakit. Sir, regarding dun sa pick-up, sir, paano mo rin yung dalawang license? Ay, may mga licenses kasi na mayroong yung building niya is uh, mataas na and then yung horizontal is mataas na rin. So, Kung yung building mo is small, hindi ka lang, and then yung, yung horizontal mo is medium A, hindi ka qualified sa, sa project. So, it, uh, I suggest na mag-GAP ka. So, kung, kung lahat yun in, uh, included dun sa pick-up namin, okay lang ang isa? Yes. Uh, I mean, yung panwad dito kasi is 
kahit isang pick-up license lang, basta yung nandun sa category ninyo is medium A pareho. Pero kung yung license ninyo is uh, medium A sa isang sa horizontal, medium uh, small B na kayo sa vertical, then you have to uh, undergo sa JD. Pero if ever na yung isang license ninyo is pasok na siya pareho, medium B na pareho, or medium B or large, large na, uh, pasok na. regarding shutdown. So yung shutdown po natin under item 5.4 ito po yung similar contracts ninyo ang gritting of roads and construction rehabilitation improvement for buildings and other vertical structures yan po pagkakasabi ko kanina kailangan po meron kayong SLCC of 56 million to 60 million for concreting of roads uh, for yes, and for vertical work, works, kailangan may na 50 million po kayo. SLCC. <coughs> and the certificate of site inspection shall be signed by Mr. Ronald Bertano, OIC of Shandau, or his duly authorized representative. So anytime po, you can go and have a site visit and magkakaroon po kayo ng site inspection certificate na issue for this project. Sir, so, just authorized representative, pag during submission of bid, okay na ba yung SPA or meron pa yung uh, form na sa submission? Uh, okay na yung uh, SPA. Uh, if you are uh, authorized to sign the document, then okay na SPA. Uh, yung submit lang yun, sir. Authorized to submit the bid documents. Iba kasi yung uh, sub, yung so sa dun sa pipi mas uh, document mismo may iba form uh, I think uh, annex A form one yata uh, yes sir meron kayo uh, sa authorizing yes, uh, authority pero yung dun sa mga sa pipi sa mga sa pipi uh, basta yung authorize lang ng company SPA. yung na usagit si document oh yes uh, SPA po SPA oh. thank you sir So regarding po dun sa cash flow, di ba naka-quarter siya? Mm. Uh, so kung mag, yung i-attach natin construction schedule, okay lang ba kung naka-monthly yun? Pero pagdating sa cash flow, is naka-quarter na yun na distribution. Okay lang. Okay lang. Okay lang. Okay lang. Sir, may contact number. Contact number. Pumunta po. Uh, you can go to ADMS. Uh, you can just uh, ask the personnel the of the ADMS for the contact number. Uh, look for Mr. Nino Tandok. Kung available po siya. Uh, Nakatravel yata. Yes, sir. Quickly, we can lang yung basis yung photography ng IP ng HP at saka yung so ito pong uh, certificate of inspection, the logo yung attachment, the visitors logo po of Xiaogao, and yung company ID po, hindi po PRC ID po, company ID po ng company ID po. 
ng life inspection. So, ito lang po yung pinaka-honor namin yun, yung company ID po ng company mismo. Hindi po PRC, hindi po file ng ID. Any questions about Shadwell Project? <coughs> So, okay na po tayo sa isko po birds ng Shandor. Okay, we will go, we will proceed to Vegan Airport. Vegan Airport. So ABC is 73 million 463,056 pesos and 6 centavos. And these are the technical personnel and equipment required for the project. Again, we will be requiring uh, two licenses. Medium A for horizontal projects and medium A for building and investment plan. So the completion of the works is 420 calendar days, inclusive of 56 daily and workable days. Bidding documents is 50,000 pesos. projects, component projects, the expansion of PTB, or passenger terminal building, the construction of canopy of the PTB, the construction of 5,000 gallons and 1,000 gallons water tank, construction of a new building, construction of powerhouse, the repainting of runway markings, site preparation for BPA, street feed correction, PESA, and turnaround plan for runway 2-0, and the improvement of BPA, and the construction of perimeter fence. So for vegan, uh, requ we require an SMCC of the 50% of the ABC for horizontal works. And for vertical works, we require 50% of the ABC for vertical projects. Uh, so total, 73 million. So dalawang SLCC po. Isa sa crumb concreting and isa sa uh, buildings. And I, under item 5.4 of the BDS, these are the similar contracts for the project for vertical. Uh, Construction, rehabilitation, improvement of buildings and other vertical structures, and for horizontal works, uh, concreting of roads and other horizontal structures. And again, for 6.3, uh, the officer in charge of Vigan Airport, Mr. Filipino Panilo, will issue the certificate of site inspection or is duly authorized representative. Again, po, company ID po ang kailangan. And the visitors can book for Vigan Airport. Any questions for for Vigan? Sir, can I come by the last payment for the details?
Until uh, before 2 p.m. po ng Jan, uh, June 26. Before 2 p.m. Exactly. Yes, send it to the go. You have to some mission for us. Shardow 25. Originally 25. Originally. Uh, Originally, po, yung Shardong is uh, June 25 and yung Vegan is June 26. So if there if there is a any postponement, po, we will issue a big bulletin if ever po may postponement. And kung nag-issue po kami ng postponement, uh, for example, July 10, then the uh, deadline of proposing the meeting documents will be July 10. And submission will be July 10. For example, lang po yun. Yes po. Kung ma-adjust po yung open, yung pan natin, yung opening, then yung, yung pagbili po ng dokumento is ma-adjust it. Questions po? Regarding vegan? License is medium A license category B for roads, highway pavements, railways, airport, horizontal structures. Completion of works is 300 calendar days. Bidding documents is 50,000 pesos. BDS, similar contracts shall refer to upgrading, improvement, rehabilitation, construction of unpaid roads and more earthworks. So, earthworks po tayo, o kaya embankment, mga ganun lang po. Unpaid lang po siya. Kasi this is a strict rate correction, so more on pag po tayo. More on embankment and some base po ang kailangan natin na completed projects base base course uh, makadam unpaid roads improvement ganun to so concreting po uh, experience sa concreting po hindi natin siya uh, isasama po sa pag-compute ng SLCC ang pal na po doon is yung embankment na lang po at yung aggregate of base po ng concreting roads Under item 6.3, Mr. Orlando Sikileste, or OIC of Masin Airport, will be the one issuing the Certificate of Site Inspection, or his new authorized representative. And again, the company ID and the visitor's logbook of Masin Airport is required to be submitted together with the Certificate of Site Inspection.
scope of works. We have one distinct grade, cor uh, distinct grade correction covering a volume of 52,159.66 for excavation and disposal. And for embankment, we have 13,924 cubic meter. And for aggregates of base course, 2,453.81 cubic meter. So this is the reason why po um, kailangan po natin SLCC is for embankment works and for uh, unpaid roads. And for item 2, slope protection, we have the gabions, 220 linear meter, and the structural steel sheet piles, 247 linear meter, and route and riprap, 312 cubic meter, and SPL1 and SPL2, SPL1, mobilization, demobilization, SPL2, tempasil. Questions for? Questions for Masi? And we require the presence of these following technical personnel, project engineer, master electrician, foreman, and the safety and health officer. And the provision of the following minimum requirement, minimum equipment, one bag of concrete mixer, one unit concrete vibrator, one unit welding machine, and one unit oxy acid being cutter welding outfit. It is open to all contractors with small B license category C and D for building and industrial plant. Completion of works is 120 calendar days, inclusive of eight rainy and workable days. Cost of building documents is 5,000 pesos. Under item 5.4 of the BDS, Similar contracts shall refer to building construction, improvement, rehabilitation, and repair. And for the certificate of site inspection, it will be issued by the ADMS under Mr. Engineer Raul G. Glorioso, or his duly authorized representative. And again, submission of the ADMS visitor's notebook and company ID is required to be submitted. of works. Under civil structural works, uh, we have the site works. It uh, uh, covers uh, 497.40 square meters and concrete works 33.54 cubic meters and for more scale scaffoldings 146.15 square meters. And we have item number two, the roofing works. Uh, 237 linear meters covering the whole uh, walkway and the painting works 399 square meters and under electrical works conduit and fittings 270 linear meters wires 300 linear meters wiring devices lighting fixtures boxes circuit protection and terminal accessories uh, covers uh, the 79 days of covered walkway for the project. So 
So, may type po, pwede na po kayo mag-site inspection dito sa central office. Yan, the project is located po uh, beside the canteen. Questions po? Questions for covered walkway. We will go to asphalt overlay or Broadway at Kamigini Airport. The ABC for the project is ninety three million five hundred twenty three thousand. 782.51 and we require technical personnel project engineer, nutritic engineer, materials engineer, construction foreman, safety and health officer and equipment and we require pick license of medium A license category B for horizontal projects Contract duration is 90 calendar days, exclusive of rainy and workable days. Bidding documents is 50,000 pesos. Under 5.4, similar contracts shall refer to as cutting roads and other horizontal structures. Site inspection certificate will be issued by Mr. Gary Julio Makiling, OIC of Panigini Airport. For the relevant experience of key personnel, five years in general engineering, three years in asphalting of goals, and other horizontal structures. Scope of works for item 102 covering station 0995 to station 1416.07. And for item 104, covering the station uh, area of station 0995 to station 1416.07. And for Vito Cunha Stock 2, from runway nine, station 995 to station 1193.10, two layers of two inches uh, thick asphalt. And for the Cunha from 1,193.10 to 1,416.07, two layers of two inches as part of the area we go 42 meters. The moon above is 30 meters push up. And transition, or a total area of 35,583.48 square meters. Ganun din po yung item 310. And then we have from SPL2, from the markings, the painting of the different markings of the runway and the removal and disposal of temporary transitions for the asphalt overlay. So for excavation, 87.77 cubic meter, embankment, 1330.20 cubic meter, tapo, 21.564 metric tons. For item 310, 10,614.66 uh, metric ton. Runway markings, 1,481.77 square meters. For temporary transition, the removal of 13,428 square meters of temporary transition. And the temporary facilities. So, yung asphalting po natin, ano? conventional asphalting or stone asphalting? Uh, conventional asphalting. Island, 
Uh, yes, sir. So you are referring to an achievement there or uh, yes sir, under item twelve point one B. This shall include the following documents as part of the leader technical document. Certification from the leader of the for the JASPA budget plan, which will be used is owned or under lease or under purchase agreement should be brought to Kamigay Airport or within the vicinity of the airport. So this is another uh, technical requirement for the project. So to put it on technical requirement and uh, you are required to submit as part of the technical document of the project. Questions. The list of key personnel sa ka vehicle uh, equipment sir, sa building list lang siya. Tapos yung proof of ownership will be on the post qualification. Post qualification or kasama na siya during no, the building. Uh, if the equipment are owned by the leader, uh, this should be supported by the uh, deed of sale, the of sale, the ORCR, or any proof of ownership of the uh, equipment. If, it, if this is under this agreement or purchase agreement, it shall be supported by the lease agreement or the purchase agreement. And kung pepele, nandunan yung proof of ownership ng uh, pag-iwisan po ninyo. Yung resort. Yung resort. Yes, sir. Ang tanong ko po, uh, isasubmit po ba ito during the bidding? Yes, ako. Sir, I see. Kaya nga po sabi ko, uh, if these are owned by the bidder, this should be supported by the ORCR, the NOAS, at the Atas na Kalaj. Any more questions po regarding the meeting? If there are no more questions for coming in, uh, we will proceed to Mutuan Airport. Thank you. So this is a repeat of the asphalt overlay of runway at Kamigin Airport. of 97,929,644.48 Abutuan, uh, uh, repeat for Abutuan Airport uh, repeat. So these are the minimum required technical personnel and equipment open to all contractors with medium day license category B Project duration is 120 calendar days, inclusive of 20 and 80 and workable days. Bidding documents is 50,000 pesos.
So for the uh, Mutual Airport, po, we will not be requiring the certification because there are many asphalt uh, suppliers for Mutual. Thank you. Thank you. So we have the following scope of works. The only stop port is fifty eight point sixty nine metric tons. The BS, BCSC, 10,677.75 metric tons. Runway markings, 1,887.44 square meters. Removal of disposal and disposal of temporary transition, consisting of 14,040 linear meter and the provision of tempasin. So unlike po sa kamilin, uh, yes, unlike po sa kamilin, we will not be requiring the certification from the dealer na magdadala ng matching time. Kasi marami pong ready mix asphalt po sa butuan. Any questions po? Uh, sir, no more questions regarding butuan? So, uh, okay. so in case in case there are uh, additional choice, I think uh, we can we can buy the bank and we will do it in ten days before the opening. Okay. And also we will do it in the people. Okay. So there are no other questions there. Ano? Ano yun? 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 Ano yun?